Now, I'm not going to take too much time because I want to get through this quick. Donald Trump just released a video, a speech about how he deplores the violence of what happened during the insurrection that he incited a year and one week ago in the, in the attack of the Capitol. How he's against violence and all that BS. I'm not playing the, I just read, I just saw the speech thanks to YouTube's um, CNN channel. I'm not gonna play it for you. I'm gonna get this quick because I think it's a bunch of BS. It's a load of crap. Where is this talk about you you hating violence a week ago when you incited an insurrection, a terrorist attack on the United States Capitol, an attack that killed five people, one of them a, 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 a Capitol security officer? Where was it, Trump? Where was it? When you called Nazis in Ku Klux Klan and, and tried to equate them with the, with the counter-protesters in, um, in, in Charlottesville. When you said, there are very fine people on many sides, on many sides. Where was that, Trump? I didn't hear that, Trump. That was years ago. That was three years ago in Charlottesville. So where was that? Why didn't you say something like this? When Charlottesville happened, why didn't you say anything like this when the BLM was, was protesting, when their protesters went out of control and destroyed property? You didn't even try to meet us on our level. You didn't even try to talk to us about what was going on, about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and God knows how many others. Where were you, Trump? You were nowhere. And when it, happens to, when it happens to be Antifa or Black Lives Matter, we get called thugs. We get called every name in the book other than Americans, your fellow Americans. This speech of yours tonight was crap. And it made me sick. I can't, I can't believe I even sat through and listened to it. I can't believe I even listened to that crap. And frankly, I feel like I need to take a bath in holy water just by sitting through it. You didn't do anything but make the situation ten times worse. You read from a script. If you didn't have that teleprompter in front of you, and I don't want to hear some excuse about Barack Obama used the teleprompter. Obama used the teleprompter while he was president because he had something of substance to say to the country. You take that teleprompter away from Donald Trump and he will go completely mad. And we will see the real Donald Trump stand up. Just as we did one week ago when he was pushing, his, when he was firing up his base to push himself to the Capitol. Killing five people, one of them a cop. Now I apologize. No, actually I'm not going to apologize for being angry. Because you should have said this a week ago. You should have said this years ago. Because who you are, but you are who you are, Trump. You are who you are, and we can see right through your fake ass. Your fake news ass. Oh, I just used one of your terms against you, Trump. See, here's the real problem I have with all of this. I'm going to shut this video down. You didn't do anything to unite this country. You didn't do anything for three, for four years to unite this country. That's why your ass has been impeached again. And maybe it might do not, it may not do any good. Since we're at this point, yeah, at this point, seven days away from your, your removal from office after your term is over. May not do any good, but you will go down in history as the president who not only was impeached twice, but the president who ripped this country apart for nothing more than selfish, complete greed. Congratulations, Trump. You made your history. Live with it. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.